Now that we've allowed applications to access our application data, let's continue and assign them fine-grained API permissions. Doing so will restrict which actions applications can perform down to the level of specific relations. This granular approach allows for precise security, letting developers control data flows with confidence. In the previous step, we gave applications access to our data as well, next to users. And we've done this by creating a new application type and then defining an application within an organization and giving them admin rights. But we might want to tone that down a little bit because we don't want all applications to be able to do all admin tasks within our organization. So we've removed the application um, relation definition in our organization, and we've also removed it from the admin definition. Um, but what we did do is add an application as a possible assignee to all of our permissions um, that we've defined for an organization. So can add admin, can create documents, can add added folders now can be either assigned to SNEs of a specific role or to an application, which means that an application won't have access to any of our permissions, won't have any of our permissions until we explicitly define them as can add admin, can create document and can edit folders. So if we look at the tuples, we'll see that we have added organization or application app one as a relation can create document for Acme organization. And that same application should also be able to edit folders. We did not give it the relation can add admin. So in our tests, we'll see that the application app one um, should not be able to add admins, but should be able to create a document. And it should also be able to edit and view um, all um, the, the welcome document because it has those rights. Application two, on the other hand, should not be able to add an admin and should not be able to create any document because we have not given them the relation that they need to do so. So let's run our tests one more time. FGA model test dash dash tests and then step 10. fine-grained access API, API access. And we'll see that all tests are passing and all checks are passing as well.